Hi everybody, it's Nancy Stamps for the Fairy Stamper YouTube page. And I thought we would make a little underwater scene here, kind of a mini slim line. Is that what the new trend is that they're calling? So it's a little bit smaller panel. I believe it's seven and three quarters by three. Yeah, seven and three quarters by three inches on my main panel. And then I have a matting layer, which is eight by three and a quarter. And then our actual card panel is eight and a quarter by three and a half. So it's just a little bit shorter of a panel. And at my old house, I used to have this funky wallpaper and it was called you'll have to correct me twall twall wallpaper where everything was printed in a monotone it was very old um you know kind of faux vintage antique looking and it was blue and white for everything so i thought well what if we created this kind of underwater scene using that same method and now of course i lost my sample card to show you i'm sure it'll show up um so Let's get into it. So I will be using, this paper is cream colored paper. This is from my Lavinia uh, stash. You can use any cream color cardstock that you have. And then this blue cardstock is, I believe, Stampin' Up! Night of Navy cardstock. Again, use what you have. So obviously I already have that cut scored. My matte layer is ready to go. And then here we have our stamping panel. And then I have a couple of my fairy hugs stamps. And I was kind of, you know, imagining my scene to have this sunken ship over here. We have some foliage. Oh, here it is. I knew it was going to show up. So this is kind of the sample card I made. And I have two little boo-boos here on my stamp. And that's because when I inked, I over-inked on the edge. So correct that problem. I've cut off that extra... Um, photopolymer that was hanging off of there. It doesn't affect the way that it stamps. So if you have a stamp that you're like me and got a little heavy handed on the ink, you can cut those off. Just make sure it doesn't obstruct anything that you're stamping or the integrity of the stamp. Um, so yeah, that was my little, my little sample one. So let's get into it. And all I'm going to do is, this is really simple, guys. I'm going to use some dark blue ink. This is Versafine Claire Twilight ink. And I'm just going to stamp my images all in the same color. And we'll see how they come together. I'm going to start with the sunken ship. And it's going to kind of off, be off in the side over here a little bit. large Simon Hurley stamp block here. It's perfect for that. And whenever you're stamping with photopolymer stamps, it's nice to have a little bit of a cushion there. I just have this extra piece of fun foam I'm going to lay down. And since I'm not using my Misty, I do want to be careful that I fully ink up my stamp. Now you can see on this stamp, see all I have that extra ink on the side? That's how it transferred over onto my first card. So I do want to make sure that I kind of clean that up a little bit. So I don't get that ink transferred over. And again, this is an old rusty ship at the bottom of the sea. So we don't need a whole bunch of this coming through, just a little bit. All right, that looks pretty good. It's not perfect, but that's okay. I always like to clean my stamps when I'm done. Makes it easier to put everything away at the end. All right, and since I used Oscar the octopus on this one, I thought I'd bring in another sea creature, which is Luna the whale. I think Luna would look beautiful on here. I don't remember using Luna yet. She's still pretty new. I am going to trim some of that extra photopolymer off of her backside here a little bit. 
and it doesn't hurt the stamp at all you guys just a little extra I don't want that getting all inky and getting onto my project and you just throw that out Now, I don't think I've used her yet, so I'm going to prime her by using a little bit of Versamark ink. So the Versamark ink is going to help fill in um, any open areas on the stamp. It's also going to help her accept the colored ink a little easier so we won't get the blotchiness that we kind of got on our ship here. Now, luckily, the blotchiness on here doesn't matter because, again, it's an old abandoned ship, so it's going to look deteriorated. So it actually helps our image over there. But we want Luna to be a nice, solid stamped image. And I'm going to stamp her right over here. Like she was checking that ship out. Maybe she's trying to see if there's any fish hanging around that she can get a nice little morsel to eat. I missed a spot. Well, this is a clear stamp, so it is pretty easy to line up. That's where Misty comes in handy. But clear stamp, you can press right down, fill that in. Okay. If you've watched my videos, you know I don't like to make a big stink about mistakes because I think that shows that the card is handmade and if you try to get perfection every time you're just going to frustrate yourself so I don't mind my mistakes that I make and I just try to learn from them and the best way to learn from this would be to use a a misty a stamp positioning tool like that the Tim Holtz tool anything like that but clear blocks work just fine now here we have some vines these are called hanging vines I like to use these as seaweed I've used them before so I'm going to put one on one side of the block and the other one on the other side of the block. And I'm just going to take turns inking these up in different lengths. Now that one I do have to wipe. You want all of your images. I like them all to be kind of the same color tone, but if you're going to stamp it off, that's fine. I should have did the longer one first and then stamped it off. A double stamping just do be careful your foam will get inked up it dries fairly quickly but if you rest your hands into the foam you will get a little ink on your hands so just be wary of that so again I'll do a little bit longer seaweed over here and then stamp off over here so the 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 um the shorter one has more open leaves. The longer patch has more closed or solid leaves. So this is the difference between the two stamps, in case you're wondering. One's a little bit of a thicker cluster. One's a little bit of a smaller cluster. And we have some other leaves I'm going to bring in. Okay. This one is called Wild Leaves. I'm also going to bring in this netting. I think this netting is pretty cool. I actually decorated the edges of my other cards. I think I'll do that on this card too. Really just need one corner here. Let me move this out of the way. So this is my card base. And I'm just going to go around and stamp the edges. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect just doing an outline here because it's going to have that mat so the mat is going to cover most of that bit of a 
little decorative element on the outside of the, so it's not a plain card. I almost dropped that on my card, it fell on the table. Lucky, lucky. All right, so there we have our net. I'm gonna set that aside. Gonna clean up my mess here because I have ink everywhere and I'm getting inky fingerprints on everything. Oh no, I wanna leave that on there because I am gonna do a little bit on my card panel here. Just in the corner. Take a little bit of this and just kind of put it in the corner there. It's very subtle. Most people aren't going to notice it. It's just a subtle little hint of texture. We're done with our netting. And this is called, it's just called net. Fairly big stamp. Okay. And let's go back to adding some more foliage and some little critters to this panel. And then we'll assemble it. Have this one called Wild Leaves. Again, just doing the monotone. I think it takes kind of the guesswork out of everything too. Makes it a little simpler for us as, as creators, crafters. seahorse friends. I do like this. The seahorse sea horse comes in three different um, styles. You have a large one with decorative design, a large one that's solid, and a small solid one. I like the small solid one. I'm just going to kind of hide him in plain view right here. be a great masculine card thinking of you card just a fun scene to create I'm gonna go back in with my little foliage here my leaves I think one or two more of these guys and I'm gonna bring my hanging vines back in my makeshift seaweed. I think that's pretty good. I still have a little room if I wanted to stamp out a sentiment. I could um, banner cut my sentiment or fishtail my sentiment and put that on there. So let's assemble this real quick.
And I do like the slim lines because I wouldn't have been able to combine all of those elements on a standard A2 size card. It would have just been too much. So by having a slim line, you can kind of make this nice little scene. And like I said, by doing it all in one color, it's very simple to make a beautiful scene without having to overdo it with too much color or overthink with too much color. It's very simple, but still makes an impact. And I don't need to really add anything else other than maybe put a sentiment on here. And that is my toile. I hope I am pronouncing that correctly. Toile in wallpaper inspired from Twall wallpaper inspired mini slimline card. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please remember to click the bottom right hand corner and subscribe. And again, you can check out all of these products from Fairy Hugs over at the Fairy Stamper website. I will link everything down below for you. And they are proudly made here in the USA, very quick to ship. Lots of beautiful stamps, um, very much known for their fairies, gnomes, mystical kind of creatures. But I hope you enjoyed this underwater scene. If you have any questions, post them below. Thanks for watching, guys, and keep on stamping. Bye-bye.